Police in Seattle say they're prepared for the worst tonight as Antifa activists have reportedly been seen mobilizing. We are monitoring the situation all night, so we'll keep an eye on that. But first, let's talk about it with KTTH Seattle Talk Radio host Jason Rance. Um, Jason, you and I were talking during the commercial. It sounds like just as you were prepping to head to the studio for this hit, uh, you saw some action up close. Yeah, there's about a hundred plus or so marching around Seattle right now. They're not doing too much damage because Seattle PD, when you actually allow them to do their jobs, they're really, really good at corralling these groups. And so there are a lot of police officers right now trailing these Antifa agitators and other activists in the community to make sure that they don't get too out of hand. There was an attempt at one arrest, uh, but beyond that, it's been fairly tame as far as Seattle action is concerned. Mm -hmm. That is good news for the folks there. Yes. Um, Seattle King County NAACP statement today um, reacting to the trial in which Derek Chauvin was convicted on all three counts said, we live in an America where white people can storm the U.S. Capitol and go home safe and unarmed, while black and brown people are effectively sentenced to death for counterfeit dollar bills and loose cigarettes. Um, it seems like the verdict is, uh, you know, in some ways, you know, Ted Williams said earlier tonight, he's talked with the, the family of George Floyd. They have some measure of happiness and of a sense of justice over this. But we hear all these other conversations swirling tonight, including from Congresswoman Ocasio-Cortez and others saying, oh, no, no, this does not prove that the system worked and this is just the beginning. Yeah, so I'm not entirely sure I understand then what folks are asking for. They said that this was not going to go in a fair way, that Derek Chauvin was going to walk, and it proves that the justice system is broken. Then the opposite happens, and it proves that the justice system is broken. You can't have it both ways. You can't say that your way of thinking about justice in this country is only that you get the results that you want, the results that you demand via a mob via the threat of violence, which is what we saw over the course of the last several weeks, and really the last year. That's not justice. That's mob rule. And we have to do everything we can to push back against it. They can compare it to the January 6th riot all they want. We, we can pretend, I guess, that Ashley Babbitt didn't die. We can pretend that people aren't being charged. We can pretend that people right now aren't in jail facing those charges. 